Hello. Okay. Um, let's get started. I'm on page 253, and we're looking at graphing the function rule. We talked about function rules originally and how to create them. Now we want to talk about how to graph a function rule. And it's a pretty straightforward section. It is um, really since I've been asking you guys to go ahead and graph a function every single time, graph a function, this part won't be very, very new for all of you. It's kind of a review, which is nice. It allows us to go ahead and work in the skills we've learned in the other three sections and uh, hopefully catch up a little bit and, and master some of the things you've had some confusion about. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it is to graph a function rule. Problem number one in the textbook begins by looking at a function rule that, um, let's see, I'm going to squeeze it in right over here. Let's get my pen and let's pick the color red for just to change things up a little bit. And the function rule we're going to look at is y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. Now, again, we haven't learned this yet, but I've been wanting to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. The greatest power here, that is y to the first, that is x to the first. This is going to be a linear function. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and plot some points and work the table, just like they do in the book, to confirm that. So let's come over here and let's set up our extended t. We'll call it an extended t for now. Let me just go ahead and set this up as neat as I can. Oh, that wasn't very neat, but that's going to be our x. And that's going to be straightforward. And then I'll go into that in a second. And this is where we're going to work out the function y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. And this is where we're going to get our y value. Oh, let me do that again. We're going to get our y value in the middle. We're going to get our ordered pair here. x, comma, y. And this is the part that we're going to graph once we get over here. Now, when we graph these functions, I'm going to ask you guys for the time being that you use several numbers. I always want to get a couple of numbers in the negative area. I always want to go through the origin and I always want to get some numbers in the positive area. Right now most of our functions will be linear for the most part. Later on we get the curves. They may do something special on this side. They may do something unique when they cross through the origin and they may do something special on this side. So I'm going to ask you a little bit later to go ahead and do some numbers and do um, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Um, for now, since the book only does negative 1, 0, and 1, we're going to follow the example of the book. Oh, they also do 2. We're going to follow the example in the book, and we're going to go ahead and just follow along what they did for the sake of the example. So let's go ahead and do some substitution. Again, you have the x value. It's the input. You put this value by substitute that negative 1 where it says x. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we'll get negative 2 times negative 1 plus 1. Well, negative 2 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So this equals 3. The ordered pair, therefore, is negative 1, comma, 3. Over here now we substitute 0. So we'll get negative 2 times 0 plus 1. Well, negative 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1. So we get a value of 1. And our ordered pair is 0, comma, 1. If we put the 1 value in for the x, we get negative 2 times 1 plus 1. Now, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 1. 
we have negative 1. So the answer here is negative 1. 1, comma, negative 1. And finally, negative 2 times 2 plus 1. That's negative 4 plus 1. And that's going to yield a negative 3. So the ordered pair here is 2, comma, negative 3. I should have gone straight. I apologize. But I'll get better at this as I do more of these. So now we just come and we plot points. It's just like playing Battleship a little bit. So the first, I'm going to change colors. And let's go ahead and change colors. Let's put a blue one. I like blue. And the first ordered pair we're going to do is this one over here, negative 1, comma, 3. And I went ahead and you notice I put a nice little graph paper here for you guys. Um, negative 1 and 3. You start the x value, negative 1, and you up to, and you put a point right there. The next order pair we're going to look at is 0, comma, 1. Starts at 0, and it goes to 1. The next order pair we look at is 1, negative 1, starts at 1, and it goes down to the y coordinate at negative. Again, these are the y values. I think mine goes out. These are the y values. These are the x values, as you see here. The next order pair is 2, oh, sorry, I didn't close my parentheses. It's 2, negative 3. And as you can see, we start getting a line forming, and we graph the line. Oh, let's do that again. And that's our line. And we should get in the habit of putting the equation for that line. That's y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. Now I want you to note a few a few things. I'm foreshadowing a little bit. Notice this, this line here in front of the x. Later on you're going to learn that's the slope that makes the line go down. Another thing that's important is that plus 1 that's plus 1 and notice that this line crosses the y-axis. This is the y-axis. y-axis. Let me, yep that got in there y-axis. It crosses the y-axis at positive 1. There's a reason that they're giving us this line in this format. That's a really, really common format. And we'll get into a lot of detail on that later on. Let's do, um, let's look at the got it. The got it that they give us is, um, I'm going to leave this up there for a few minutes just so you can try it yourself. And the got it that they give us is y equals 1 half x minus 1. y equals 1 half x minus 1. Go ahead and um, pause the video for a few moments and then when you get it back we'll uh, go ahead and take a look and we'll knock that out together and then I'll do example problem a little bit later on. Go ahead and pause the video and come back and do that. Okay, I well, you guys are hopefully working. I went ahead and erased everything. Let's just go ahead and get started real quickly because we're running about nine minutes already. Um, let's look at the function y is equal to negative one half x minus one. Now again, fraction phobia. There goes those fractions. I'm going to show you a little secret to how to handle that. I'm going to go ahead and pick numbers. I'm going to go ahead and pick numbers that make my life easy. Since I control what I pick, that's the by, that's one half. So I'm going to pick numbers that when I multiply by one half, I'm going to get a number that's um that's simple to work with. So if I multiply two times one half, I get one. So let's go negative two, zero, and two. And you'll see what that does. So we look at this equation. That's going to go in here. I'm going to not for time. I'm going to go ahead and just not write that in there. And here is going to go the ordered pair x comma y. Let's work this out. If you substitute the one half 
times 2 minus 1. What do you get? 1 half times 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is going to be negative 2 and 0. If you put 0 into this, 1 half times 0, well, that's 0 minus 1, and that equals minus 1. So you're going to get, I just put the minus 1 here for you. It's 0 comma minus 1. And again, let me clean this up a little bit. I might be sloppy. That's going to be a 0. And, and then finally, 1 half times 2 minus 1. 1 minus 1. One minus one is equal to zero, so we get two comma zero here. Um, I think. Oh gosh, little boo boo here. Sorry guys, that's negative. That's negative one. This is going to be negative two. Let's see what I did there. I just realized I made a mistake there, and since I'm not going to go back and edit this, I can just correct my mistake over here. Let's just look at it real quick at what I did here. It's negative 2. So then the equation is going to be at 1 half times negative 2 minus 1. This gives us negative 1 minus 1. That gives us negative 2. So the order pair is negative 2. So let's go ahead and plot that now. Again, the order pair there is negative 2 comma 2. Negative 2 comma negative 2. Our point is right over there. Next is 0, negative 1, 2, comma, 0, 2, 0. Let me get a nice get a black line for now. And you'll see that this is a straight line going right there. Notice the negative 1, and this crosses the y-axis at negative 1. That's very important. Um, we're right around 12 minutes and a half now. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. Go ahead and uh, look at the other problems. You'll notice that it's pretty much the same thing. I'm going to make another video for the students that want to go ahead and work ahead a little bit. But I understand that about after about 13 minutes, it's kind of a lot. So um, make another one to do a couple of other problems if you need additional help. Or you can just go ahead and watch this again. But you'll notice that once you get the numbers, you're plotting the points. It's just a matter of plotting the order pairs that you calculate. Enjoy the video. Go back and ask some questions. Come back to class tomorrow with stuff to ask. And uh, we'll be moving on ahead. Thanks for watching.